Red Wolves are on the ground. Gundam fans, it is over if you were expecting anything good out of the Netflix Gundam movie that was supposed to come out to much fanfare, especially after some of the adaptations of anime that have been coming out from Netflix that have stunned the audiences. I'm talking about Alice in Borderland, of course, One Piece, and Yu Yu Hakusho to a lesser extent. These anime to live action adaptations overwhelm the anime fan base with some accurate depictions sometimes less accurate but still entertaining depictions of these animes into live action properties and people are expecting a lot from this adaptation of Gundam and of course we have some disappointment that it's not a live action adaptation but still it's being created on the Unreal Engine but overall after seeing the first trailer a lot of Gundam fans are disappointed and it's for the most obvious reasons and that is the character design and once you see some of the characters they have laid out to be the focus of a Gundam movie you immediately have the sense that the South Park meme about adding a gay diverse woman in any role of power within any entertainment property becomes very real and I think this is the most basic stereotypical look in Hollywood right now the tattoos the nose bull ring piercing short colorful hair this is what we expect from social progressive entertainment ideologues that have control of the entertainment industry nowadays this is the most basic example and seeing this in a Gundam trailer kind of just shocks you and brings you back to the reality thinking oh the producers and writers and directors of this film probably don't have the best interest of Gundam fans at heart and I think that's what we essentially get from this photo and many other photos that are related to this anime we just see that stereotypical haircut that butch lesbian haircut that we see the half shave head the strong chin and manly features that we see in a lot of anime american cartoon properties that are following this social progressive stance where they are blending in the genders and switching out the femininity in women and switching out the masculinity in men we see this in video games and cartoons and entertainment all throughout america and now we're seeing this in the gundam series and i think a lot of people are disappointed in that fact and i say this is something that would have been passable and skippable if it wasn't so pre prevalent nowadays throughout the entertainment industry. I think we've seen this before in the 90s with some female characters, but it was done more in a novelty and they were more likable and endearing characters. So when we see something like this nowadays, they're usually not likable, never endearing, and mostly annoying characters. So we associate that with any character with a half shaved head, bull, nose ring. We expect them to be annoying. Even though this character may not be annoying, that's our expectation instantly because that's how the writing has been in entertainment in Hollywood and everything related uh, to these IPs that have been coming out recently with these stereotypical characters so seeing these characters in a Gundam series it already drops your expectations level to rock bottom and that's my case right now after I saw some of the images from this overall trailer and there's some cool images of Gundams in it and I think that's the, the, the sad thing about it it's coming from a talented director a fan and director that made his own Warhammer 40k fan edit movie and I think he did a good job with that and you can see the skills that this director has unfortunately I don't think he was given the writer or even character designs and models to work with in a way where it's going to attract the fan base and I think that is the, the fault of Netflix and its own internalized agenda of following these gender neutral character profiles and overall designs and when we see this people expect terrible things when they see these gender neutral designs because they know where they're coming from a political point of view and stance so people avoid these type of properties when they see it me specifically so seeing this in a Gundam series it already gives you an idea that this is going to be a terrible series even though that may not be the case uh, seeing some shots I'm like okay this even though it's not live action it has some good shots some good angles I, I think the director may be skilled but the writing I don't think is going to be in his favor and I think unfortunately this director he only can direct he's not writing he's not producing the producer have different goals in mind and he's just a fan director who was making fan films so he's going to be taking direct orders even though he may have the skills to make something that's impressive I doubt he can shape this film in any way possible where it can actually be good and override the producers and writers that are on this project and I think that's what we're seeing right now with the trailer we're seeing something that 
is wholly produced and controlled by a, a very social progressive mindset. And I think we see this with a lot of the character looks and profiles. These are not something I think the director themselves would put out, but this is something a producer would want and see championed in the game. And I think that is the essential thing that we're seeing right now with some of these designs where I'm thinking like, this is probably someone that was on the writing staff that had their connections to the producer. And now they're uh, the character model within a Gundam series. That's how it feels and i think that is probably the case for a lot of people so if you were expecting the classic gundam style that we see in japan don't expect that this is an americanized version of gundam so it's going to be a very political and social progressive version of gundam even though gundam may have its uh, tidbits of politics here or there it was still action drama at, at its heart and i think seeing something become americanized in this way it, it is off-putting to people that actually enjoy the gundam series and it's, it's unfortunate to a lot of people that are looking forward to this series to actually come to america in some form or some fashion it's just being made into a tool for someone else's vanity project. And I think that is the essential case of what we're seeing with this Netflix Gundam. It's not going to be uh, something heralded like uh, One Piece. But of course, One Piece was something that was controlled by the creator. And I think that's the, the unfortunate thing with what we're seeing with Gundam nowadays. It's not controlled by the creator. Ichiro Oda absolutely had creative control over One Piece. So any edit he didn't like, he could reverse the producer's decision and force them to actually reshoot scenes and do things like that before the final cut was said. Having that amount of control matters because One Piece season one came out amazingly. And I think it was because the creator had absolute control. I think if you left it to the writers there that people are praising now, they would have made a trash heap of a show that would be similar to what we're seeing with Gundam and I think a lot of characters wouldn't be the same so that's why I say a, a creator control is an absolute right that leads to successes of TV shows most of the time and I think the collaboration with the creator that is the essential key obviously not everything can translate but I think with One Piece they did it so well where you can understand okay you got to have creatives involved and I don't think that's what happened with Gundam and I think what we're getting right now is some sort of American slop that will be forgotten in a few days but that's just my thoughts on the situation you tell me what you think about Gundam coming out for Netflix I was hyped for it before I saw this trailer once I saw the trailer I realized oh we're getting that type of Netflix show this is probably some blue hair purple bull ring person that has a social progressive thought process that is a producer and they got their hands on this particular anime that had no creative control from the the creators of Gundam or anyone had a part of that family there they have control of this and they're making slop for no one and I think that is the case with this Gundam even though the director may seem a little bit talented I don't think he had that much influence over the writing and the producer probably lorded over him because he was just a fan director he wasn't anyone professional with any connection so this is going to be a difficult thing to watch so i'm not going to watch it are you going to watch gundam on netflix you tell me you leave your comments do you think this show has any hope of having any redeeming qualities i think it may look good but other than that i think the characters are going to be highly annoying but you leave your thoughts you tell me what you think like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time